When you're talking tech in a can, you've got several different things going on there. Everyone can look at it and go, yeah, it's a metal tube filled with washers. You're taking energy and with orders of magnitude, you're changing it. Those propellant gases are going 6,000 feet per second and the projectile's going three. The way that we shape things, the way we design things and the tools we use to analyze the flow of gases inside our suppressors, that is the technology that we're creating inside of that suppressor. Very complicated for something with no moving parts. We're always trying to look for new material science, new modeling software, anything that we can do to push the envelope to achieve a better result for our suppressors than what we had yesterday. Take Sandman X and Lazarus, Haynes 282. That is a space material. That's where it came from, rocket nozzles. The printing tech is kind of cool and allows you to make a lot of shapes and utilize some different materials we do a lot of titanium print cans, which is kind of freaking outstanding. Machine technology alone has totally changed. With the innovation coming with additive manufacturing, what we can do with gas vectoring is unprecedented prior to being able to utilize that technology. And now we have the capability to create lighter, stronger, more resilient suppressors than ever before that are offering better back pressure reduction better sound reduction and better flash reduction than anything we've ever had to achieve something that still sounds good and delivers great overall tone but with no gas in your face on an AR-15. The shape of that baffle is drastically different and the internals of that suppressor are totally different than if we're trying to achieve that same good low tone and sound and flash mitigation for a bolt action rifle. And the, the only way that you're gonna do that is really with printing, you just can't machine the shapes that you need. And so now our engineers have almost complete freedom to design a suppressor in any shape, size, with any, any baffle geometry that they want. When it comes to how we develop products. We don't just add products to add products. We add products that meet certain needs. It's purpose built. If you look at every feature on every can, every suppressor that we build, those features are there for a reason. If it's a tool feature, if it's a grip feature, the front caps that we use, all those are driven to help that customer have a better experience with the can. It's one thing to develop a product, but how do you ensure that you get it every time you manufacture it? Really, that's the importance of manufacturing technologies and doing the right thing in, in production. You don't inspect in quality, you build it in. He likes that phrase and it's, it's true. We do it from the we do it from the ground up. We're working to make that process better every day. You know, we're a hundred percent American made company, right down to the paper in our boxes. The manufacturing side is the wild, wild west sometimes. And if you can control that, the customer gets what they deserve every time. Because over the years we have brought on some just incredible people. It is intrinsic to everyone at Dead Air that we're always wanting to push the envelope in everything we do. I like to use the word authentic. What you see is who we are. We have enthusiasts here, we have engineers here, we have guys that pull triggers who will pull triggers in the military, who pull triggers competitively, who hunt, who, and who just wanna you know, bang steel at a mile. For all the changes that have occurred here, the core values, still the same as they were.